Superhero powers are what ninjas need to conquer the course tonight, and this supermarket worker from Queensland might just have them. Can our real-life Peter Parker do it? It's Spider-Sam, Sam Roberts. Being here for the first time in person was amazing. Just watch this young man and cheer him on. Definitely feel like a superhero off that big dipper. Flying through the air like Spider-Man, it's perfect. He is fantastic, make no mistake. I was definitely surprised coming off the floating monkey bars. Oh, no! No! It was just a little mistake, and that's, that's all it takes, the ninja. So there's comic books where the, the hero falls, but he gets back up and he smashes it the second time around. I like to think that's exactly what I'll be doing in the semis. Sam does not have a girlfriend right now. He does need to hook up with somebody. Hopefully there's a spider girl on the ninja show and they could get together. That would be a great thing. During the heats run, I won't lie, I had my eye out on some uh, potential girlfriend candidates. I think a potential partner has definitely got to have a love for ninja. Long salmon ladders on the beach, uh, romantic stroll through the shrinking steps. It'd be the perfect date for me, I reckon. Good on you, Sam. The smallest male ninja we've ever had. 166 centimetres tall, 53 kilograms. And he surprised a lot of people, finishing seventh in his heat. Well Sam, mum and dad on the sideline tonight. What a moment. His first time on Australian Ninja Warrior and he's about to kick off the first semi-final. Come on, Spider Sam. Mate, he's ready. And he's single. And he's ready to mingle. <laughs> Here he goes, Sam Roberts, 21-year-old from Brisbane, on the log runner. Go, Sam, get it over and done yes, with. Yes, yes, dancing, yes, yes. Dancing, dancing, dancing. Another brand new obstacle now, the diabolical double dipper. It's a fast and frightening ride. It requires precision timing at two transfer points. Remember, he's just 53 kilograms. He'll need some weight here to Go carry him across the gap. He does it. Yes. Hey, that was perfect. That, that was, was beautiful. beautiful. And the crowd is loving Sam Roberts. This is very, very good. Just like Spider-Man, he seems solid through the air. Get behind him, Brisbane. He's your boy. He's now taking on a brand new obstacle. This is the rope to twin trapeze. Oh He's done the rope. Goodness. He's on the first trapeze. This feels like a grand final run. Big kick. Come on. Big kick. Oh. Like the shape, six what about the height this guy's getting? Not only does he fly like Spider-Man, he sticks his land. Too. And the power to weight ratio is important in Ninja. Sam's a bit like a grasshopper. Light, agile and ready to move. If Sam's forgotten he's in the semi-finals, he's about to get a reminder. Obstacle 4, the flying shelf grab to corkscrew. It can easily bring you undone. First, you've got to get to the flying shelf grab. Grabbing the two and a half centimetre shelf with just the fingertips. Survive that. And then you face the dreaded corkscrew. Okay, he's taking a leaf out of his... Oh, look at him. ...hero's book, Spider-Man. He is He's fantastic. just got so much style. Come on, Sam. Well, just here he goes on the corkscrew. It'll throw oh, you hang on to it. Yeah. Nice work. What a Sam. He stuck his fingers there. He spun his web. And that corkscrew drops down, so now he's got a lashay up. Look at him winding up. Go, oh. go. Yeah, he just got a bit of an unlucky oh, he was good though. leap and grab. He just needed some of that Spider-Man stickability. Oh, he loves Sam. That was a great effort. So good. Yeah, he looked like he could have gone further. Check out the form. He nailed the double dipper. Did the same on the twin trapeze. He looked comfortable in the air. And the corkscrew, it was a bit of a shock. He handled the spin, but then he was just a bit indecisive here, not releasing both hands at the same time. And... He had the height, but couldn't hold on. Believe it or not, Aloni Bunakethi has never made it up the warped wall, has never hit a buzzer. Quite amazing because he is not short of determination Look and at him. grit. Come on, Australia, let's get behind him. This guy is simply amazing. Here he goes, Aloni Bunakethi over the log runner. Obstacle one, semi-finals 2021 on Australian Ninja <laughs> Warrior. He's hot to trot tonight, Ben. Yeah, he's got the family cheering on the sideline. They'll provide plenty of inspiration for Aloni. They'll be pushing his 104-kilogram frame every inch of the way. 
He's set for the double dipper. And it's a double dip and double trouble. Come on, Alani. Come on, Alani. Make sure it's square. Goes Here we down. go. Good. Makes the grand oh, oh, he's all right. Oh, yeah. Hold on, Alani. Yes. Pumps himself up as he heads towards the twin trapeze. And Alani is about to have those very big arms punished again. Yeah, he's having a good look at it. A brand new obstacle for the semis. And if someone's going to send a message to Mount Midoriyama, it's this big unit, Alani Vernikethi. He's taking a long time here, Beck. Come on, shake it off, Alani. Any tips, Lon? What you got for me? Any tips? He's asking the family. Got any tips? I'll give you a tip. Keep going. Alani Vernikethi wants to hit a buzzer. We want him to hit a buzzer. Alani is up. Now he has to build up enough momentum to launch his mass of muscle to the next trapeze bar. And he's got to hold up 104 kilograms. It's a big leap through the air for this big man. Can he make it? He does. Oh, straight off. Yes. And the obstacle and Alani are still standing. Obstacle four now. The flying shelf grabbed a corkscrew and Alani's feeling the burn and the pain will continue. If you're in the kitchen, if you're in the bedroom, you better rush into the TV room at the moment because you have got a human being that looks like he's been carved by God. Alani has a Herculean task in front of him, just a two and a half centimetre shelf to grab. Look at this guy's physique when he hangs in the middle of the air. It's something quite extraordinary. Getting the momentum up from the hips now. He will transition very shortly to the yes, shelf. Yes, oh, are you sure then? Now to the core screw. Can Alani outmuscle the laws of physics? He'll be fighting 104 kgs of pure force. He grabs it. Well done, Alani. Hold on. This next lache is tricky. The shelf is higher than the corkscrew. I'm on Alani. Just one more transfer, and I'm. Oh! oh. No. It was a brilliant effort from the big bloke. He absolutely nailed the double dipper. He looked for all money like he could have been a trapeze artist in a former life. And just like Sam Roberts, survived the corkscrew, but then came undone on the next lache. Rob Patterson, come on now. This is about to heat up. That's his dad, Russell, and his girlfriend, Tamara, on the sidelines supporting Rob Patterson tonight, and that is the buzzer. I've got one word to describe this guy, and that is brilliant. An engineer in the Army. He's based at Wodonga in Victoria, but originally hails from Brisbane in Queensland. OK, let's watch him on the double dipper. It has taken out so many ninjas tonight, but it will not yeah. get its revenge Come on, on the Rui. champion yes. that is Rob Patterson. Fuel. We're relieved now. I think we're looking good. Here he goes, up on the rope to twin trapeze. Rob Patterson is so good in the air. Just watch this. It'll be smooth as silk. It's like he's going to do a couple of flips, and he's off so quick. He's moving all right, cutting a really good time. Remember, the two fastest tonight battled out on a brand new power tower just for the semis. A second chance rerun in the grand finals is up for grabs. A massive opportunity. It sure is. Rob Patterson on to obstacle four of nine. The flying shelf grabbed the corkscrew. Look at the high textbook from one of the best. Now he's got the corkscrew. It'll throw him around. Flying land sticks. He's great to watch on this course. Every heat he's hit a buzzer. More often than not, he completes the course that he starts. This is a big lache. Robbie Boy is putting on a show tonight. Oh, he sure is, Crawl, for loving it. He always does, but he has never faced the dragon back. And I have to say, he's looking a little spent. You're right, Beck. He's stretching his arms, feeling the fury of the course. He's 15 seconds faster than the rocket man, Dylan James, to this point. And if he completes the dragon back, he should be into his fifth grand final. The first ninja ever to do that in Australia. But no one has slain the dragon back. Can Rob Patterson be the first? Five metres of pure punishment. Rob will have to dig deep. But he is a champion, remember, 2018's furthest fastest. If anyone can do this, he can. Oh, oh he's still alive. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the dragon back almost takes another scalp. But somehow, somehow, Rob was able to hold on. What 
a chance. Can he be the first to complete the dragon back? And yes, forward roll, Rob Patterson. That should be enough for his fifth grand final, but he wants a spot on the power tower. Rob Patterson's still giving us the thumbs up. He's having a great time. He is really putting on a show. The crowd is up and about. And up he goes. Rob Patterson is over the wall. Wonder what Jimmy, Ashland, Bryson and Charlie are thinking right now. They won the fast pass for the grand final, so they skipped the semis. Let's make some noise for him, everyone. Come on, we want to see him do this. Visualising now exactly what he needs to do. He needs to hit that mini tramp. You don't want to overlook the simple things. Up he goes, onto the first wing nut. He wants to get through this course quickly now. He's picking up the pace. We'll do the transfer to the second yes. now. Nice grab. Rearranges himself to move himself to the third. There he goes. Oh, yes. Rob Patterson's on the last wing nut. He's gone further than any ninja tonight. Can he go all the way and complete this course? It's been so difficult. He looks relieved. He looks really relieved. He's got a smile on his face now. He knows he is almost there. Come on, Rob. Spider jump, chimney rope climb, and then the glory. Go! Yes, he's through. We'll get a bird's eye view of Rob Patterson. The 25-year-old, originally from Brisbane. If you're in Queensland, get around the TV, make some noise. He's eight metres away from glory. Here he comes. Come, Come on, on Rob, Rob Patterson. Come on, Rob. He hugs that rope with his knees. He's got it around his ankles. It's in his hands. Pull He's and... metres away, Beck. Pull and push, Rob. You can do it. He's not looking that confident in the rope, but he's going to do it for sure. He's fine. The buzzer's there. Rob Patterson's there. Come on, Rob. And he's into the grand final of Australian Ninja Warrior. Yes! Ooh. Rob Patterson! That is now wow. five grand final births for Rob Patterson. <laughs> you are 